Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Shaman King, which is on episode 17, the 2021 version, or the reboot or remake version. Anyways, this episode right here was actually not too bad, and we got to know of another group that could be that could be a antagonist for our characters in the future, you know? So if anything else, let's just get this started. We had to it that Ryunosuke ends up getting ready to launch his powerful attack against Boris, you know? That vampire guy, whatever the hell his name is. But we also get to know a backstory of how he became a shaman, you know? He asked Yo's grandfather or father, I don't know, like um, to like, um, hey, can you help me become a shaman or something? And his grandfather really told him off no because your reason to want to become a shaman is stupid. But at the same time, he does not want him to like um, possibly be involved because Hao, which is like the Asakura's family's arch nemesis or enemy of all life considered, um, is something that he does not want him to be involved with. But eventually, after talking to his son, who apparently wears a mask all the time, apparently, or whatever his name is, sorry, forgive me, I guess it's not like I don't see a certain character that he's very important unless his name and he has a lot of spotlight, he ends up, after talking to his son, and etc., and you know, Ryunosuke talking to Tokage, etc., and they end up having a bond together, and that's how they become, like, two people, two things working together, you know, just like how Yo and I Ami mean, Madara works together, you know? Eventually, Yo's grandfather decides to give Yunosuke a test, and he puts him in a river like he puts him in a river and tells him, "Climb up that mountain, and I'll consider training you with everything I got." And we had to it that um, Yunosuke does struggle, but eventually makes it. Of course, like the guy, the son ends up asking his father, "Hey, why did you do that, Dad?" I mean, that river is meant to be a very dangerous place with a lot of nasty spirits here and there. And Yo's grandfather says, look, listen carefully, okay? If this guy can't do it, that means he's lacking something or he's just very weak or he doesn't have the will or strength to do anything, you know? That kind of thing. The reason why he has Ryunosuke go up that mountain is to test his mental resolve, you know? To figure, like, um, will he be worthy to, like, um, maybe travel with Yo or to help him out or to, like, um, be worthy of being a sh be being worthy of being a shaman, you know? Eventually, after Ryunosuke makes it to the top of the mountain and looks at the scenery, we have to we get to know the story about Yamatako Orochi here and there. Eventually, after hearing the story here and there, we have to Ryunosuke makes an attack that's based off that story, you know, and eventually beats Boris. Yo, he really wants to like him talk to Boris and ask him for some information about how, you know, but unfortunately, before he could do anything, some guy named Marco, who has a Michael or Angel Spirit Lights class or something, ends up killing him and they end up talking to Yo and his comrades. Although Yo does not like the idea of what he just did, it really ticks him off, you know? They eventually run into more of Hao's subordinates, but not before we get to know about Marco and his other allies, which I don't really care much about because they have too many names and they don't seem to have a lot of spotlight to a point I should like him bother to remember them. But the way how their abilities are and how they can fight, you know, and how formidable they are, because they literally took down one guy that's like um, a football player, but he was easily defeated. But their angels that are given these names, such as Mako, Raphael, and everything else, um, they're not someone to joke around about. Eventually, Yo does not like the idea of what they're doing, especially if they're trying to kill an American football player, and Yo tries to tell him, I'm stopping you because I don't like it, you know? But eventually, Yo does get defeated, but not to a point where he's bloody and beaten, you know? They, the guy just cut Yo's sword in half and says, Someone like you with that kind of thought, you not liking things, and you know thinking you're going to relax here and there, you want to like spare this guy, help a criminal out, that's not going to make anything work. If you want to survive, get the hell out of here, kid. I think Yo did say something to insult Michael or Marco or something because of what he's doing and makes Yo upset. And I seem to get the idea. Sometimes when you kill outright without having to get the idea or maybe just do it because you think it's the right thing to do, it can make you sick. And the way I, the way I look at it, I understand where Yo's coming from, you know? Because the way how he did that to Boris, you know, without Yo actually getting, getting some information or this guy not, like, um, understanding why Boris did this and that all the time, you know, or etc. makes Yo possibly sick. Eventually, Yo does make a com com comedy scene with his friend saying, "Ah, oh, well, my sword broke, you know, that kind of thing. But eventually we see Anna along with like, um, what's your name again? Dang it. Um, Tomoe, I believe? The pink haired chick whatsoever? Forgive me. It's just, um, yeah, Tomo. 
ends up having to show up at the location where Yo and the others are inside, along with Manta. But we have two, of course, um, Anna's like, I wonder where's Yo at or something, trying to figure something out. But Hal shows up and says, hey, maybe I can help you guys out. How's that sound? I'm thinking in my mind, ah, oh, man, this is just bad news right now, you know? And the episode ends up there. Preview of next episode, it looks like to me, it's going to be like, um, what you may call it? Um, I don't, I don't know, like, um, the great spirit team and the great spirit and my team, you know, and the episode ends up there. From what I heard, you know, the Tokyo Olympics is supposed to be ongoing currently, and it looks like to me the next episode won't show up until like two, two weeks later, I believe. Like next week and the week after, we won't be able to get the next episode until the somewhere mid of, midway of August, I guess, but that's fine. All I know is like um, there's Tokyo Olympics going on, but I hope everyone will be okay because, you know, this pandemic and COVID thing is really starting to like um, be a little dangerous, you know, but that aside, I hope like um, we'll see the next episode later and they'll be okay, you know, that is, yeah. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye.